The president of the European Council, Charles Michel, arrived in China for an official visit on Thursday. This is a sign that Europe is increasingly resisting its dangerous reliance on the U.S. Former U.S. State Secretary Henry Kissinger once quipped that it may be dangerous to be America's enemy, but to be America's friend is fatal. The EU-U.S. rift over Ukraine crisis is out and open as conflict enters its 10th month. Senior officials of the European Union are angry at the Biden administration for capitalizing on the Ukraine crisis and the bloc's economic problems, according to media reports. The European Union has paid a hefty price for the Ukraine crisis that the United States has instigated and deliberately prolonged. It must have woken up to the fact that the U.S. is only exploiting the crisis for its own gains. They are also worried that green subsidies and taxes included in the U.S. Inflation Reduction Act have disrupted trade between the two parties, putting the European Union at a clear disadvantage. France and Germany have called for a tougher European response to U.S. protectionist measures. The European Council held a strategic discussion on EU's China policy in October, emphasizing that the bloc should have an independent China policy rather than doing the U.S.'s bidding, a sign that the tide is shifting. The European Council expressed in a statement on Michel's Beijing trip released last week that the visit is a timely opportunity for both EU and China to engage. The EU and China have a solid foundation for practical cooperation. In 2021, China was the third largest partner for EU exports of goods and the largest partner for EU imports of goods. The two sides can make use of the visit to capture the untapped trade and investment opportunities that exist between China and the EU. Meanwhile, China and the EU should uphold multilateralism together and resist a U.S. attempt to split the world into two camps, which is in interest of no one but the United States.